my shirt up a little bit. It's Minnie Mouse, see? <sighs> For anybody who doesn't know, Jeff and I are going to Disneyland in April and I'm so excited. So I've already started buying all of my Disney apparel because buy it here while it's cheap and not in Disney while it's ridiculously expensive. Am I right? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here to do my TBR for the 7 in 7 readathon. So for anybody who doesn't know, the 7 in 7 readathon is happening starting um, August 24th, which is the day that this video is going to be going up. No, I lie. It's August 14th. I don't know where I got that from. Starting August 14th and it goes for seven days and the main goal of the readathon is to read seven books in seven days and not even seven books, just seven anything. Like they said, it could be a newspaper, it could be a magazine, it could be like an article, the back of a cereal box. I mean, I don't know, really anything. That's what it is. I feel like I wanted to really participate in this readathon because number one, I was asked to be a host, but you guys know I just can't make that kind of commitment in my life because Ooh, bad at commitment. There's hair on me. Get off. But I really wanted to do this because I am currently seven books behind my reading goal for 2017 of 40 books, which is still not even that many books, but yet I am still so far behind. So I'm hoping, I am hoping that I can get into this readathon because I have Thursday and Friday off as vacation days. So I'm thinking, and I have nothing else planned. So maybe I'll just sit outside and read all day, sit on the dock. Jeff and I live on a lake. So maybe I'll just sit on our dock and read and tan at the same time because clearly I'm also failing at that this summer. This video is just going to be my TBR of the seven books I plan on reading for this readathon. So because I am not the fastest reader, I'm not going to choose Masso books, but what I am choosing is a lot of graphic novels because graphic novels save my life when it comes to readathons. The first three that I'm going to read are all part of the same series and, oh shit, there goes a book. And those are the Adventure Time graphic novels. I have right here Adventure Time Volume 3, Volume 4, and Volume 5. I absolutely love Adventure Time and everything about it. I'm pretty sure, now this might be something important to know, I haven't read Volumes 1 or 2. I just happen to own 3, 4, and 5 because I found them on sale somewhere. Volume 1 and 2 are nowhere to be found. I'm hoping that each graphic novel is a little bit separate from the other, but I mean, it's Adventure Time, so I think I'll be able to pick it up regardless of where it leaves off, but I'm just so excited to read these, and I don't know why it's already taken me so long. So I will be reading these three books. So that's one, two, three. And then another graphic novel I'm planning on reading is this Zelda one. It is The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and this is, I think, I want to say it's like the origin story of Zelda, or at least... Maybe it's just like a Zelda story. I don't know. I picked this one because of all of our other graphic novels, with the exception of the Sandman series, which I have not read yet because I tried and it's very, very confusing. I will still give it a go at some point, but they are also quite lengthy. Um, this is like one of the only ones that I haven't read. I realize that I've already read all of my Walking Dead graphic novels that I own, which is a total bummer. What can you do? So the next one I'm planning on reading, and an actual book I'm planning on reading, is What to Say Next, and this is by Julie Buxbaum. It's about an unlikely friendship that explores life and death, and I don't want to know really any more about that. I know it's a contemporary YA novel. I know that a lot of people have really liked this. This one was sent to me for review by Penguin Random House, so I'd really like to read it and do a review of it for you guys. So that's the next one, and it's not too long. I'm hoping that these pages aren't deceiving. It's less than 300 pages, it's 290 pages. So I am planning on hopefully reading that one. So that's number five. Number six is actually going to be the audiobook that I'm listening to, and that is The Hating Game by, hold the phone. <laughs> I'm holding a phone. <laughs> okay, it's The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I heard about this on someone's channel recently. Ooh, I can't remember her name. But um, she was just kind of going on and on about this book and how she loved it, so it sounds really, really good. It's about a woman who works for a publishing company and a man who also works for a publishing company, and they absolutely hate each other. They're each like executive assistants, so they like sit across from each other, that kind of thing. And I'm assuming and I am hoping that it turns into a love story. I'm hoping that it's going to be kind of like a Sophie Kinsella type of feel. I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait and see when I listen to it, but that is the audiobook that I'm planning on listening to. I think it's about 10 hours or 11 hours in length so hopefully if I read it at night I'll be able to finish it as well. Next up and I don't know if this is considered a cheat but where there's like really no 
structured rules, I guess, to this readathon, then I do what I want. So I am planning on finishing Illuminae. I am pretty much all the way done already. I am such a cheater. I'm 488 pages through and I think it's only 599 pages. So I am planning on finishing this off during the readathon. I gotta be honest, on popular opinion coming here, I'm not really liking it that much. And everybody loves this book and I'm just finding it kind of like, okay. I don't know. Maybe it will like get crazy good in the last like 100 pages, but I don't know. I'll plan on finishing that one. So that is seven books in total. So the last one that I'm planning on reading, if I get the time, is going to be Tuck Everlasting. Um, and this is by Natalie Babbitt. And this one is like incredibly super short. So I'm just thinking if I happen to finish all of those, then maybe I'll pick this one up. And that will be technically considered a seventh book instead of a cheat of a book that's almost completely done. So those are the seven books, seven slash eight, 7.5 books I'm planning on reading for this readathon. So let me know down below if you guys are planning on participating and what books you're planning on reading. I would love to know. I will do a wrap up at the end of the week to uh, let you guys know exactly how well or how unwell I did at this readathon. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Hi. Hi. She's so mad. You mad? Okay, bye.